today I got the six best class setups that you should be using after the 1.22 update. Now this is probably my most diverse class setup update video because I've got guns ranging from assault rifles to submachine guns to LMGs. I got everything between aggressive setups to passive aggressive to stealth suppressor. And I'm also going to add in three extra bonus class setups at the end. Before we get into today's video, I want you guys to do me a favor and check out my sponsor. They're called Advanced and they make this powder called Focus. It literally just helps you just focus on the task at hand like nothing else matters. And this is beneficial if you're trying to get those awesome gameplays. You pay attention to detail. Your senses are heightened. You could use this for when you're trying to wake up at work and work more efficiently or if you're a student you're still in college you can use this to study for those tests and it'll definitely help you be a lot more productive and the best part is there's no crash and it's a really good healthy alternative versus using something like monster or red bull or something like that seriously don't knock it till you try it you'll probably end up buying more to be honest with you that's what a lot of my subscribers who actually did buy the product ended up telling me make sure to hit it up in the description there's a link down below and make sure to use my code at checkout and if you buy 60 dollars or more you do get free shipping so let's get back into the video here for the the ICR I'm using grip one and grip two so we can get that laser type of accuracy there's no flinch at all when you're in those gunfights you definitely got to try this out if you haven't yet then I got quick draw so we can aim it a lot faster especially after sprinting because we're going to pair that up with gung-ho which will reduce the sprint out time then we got the salvo as a secondary this is just by choice because I'm a solo player and this is the class setup that I go to when I'm playing against parties or people who are just calling in UAVs after UAVs this will definitely help the situation so I highly recommend using the salvo then I got stim shot so we can heal a lot faster and return to action scavenger so we can replenish our ammo and i got gung ho so we can fire faster after sprinting then we got dead sounds so that our footsteps don't get heard by enemies using acoustic sensor and i don't want to hear my own footsteps as well so yeah guys i'm probably not going to go over the perks more than once because i've already done it once just for the sake of just not repeating myself over and over again so this is the icr7 class setup then i got the kn57 this is probably my favorite setup in the whole entire game a lot of you guys who already been following me know that i love the fact that I can still put a suppressor on it stay stealthy and undetected especially when I go against parties and go on mean streaks man so I'm using hybrid mag so we can reload faster and it comes with extra ammo then I got stock so we can strafe left and right be more evasive in those gunfights then I got suppressor obviously this is not going to be a stealth suppressor class setup without that then I got comsec device so I can call in my score streaks a lot faster because this will help us earn our score streaks at a discounted rate perk one there's nothing so we're going to be using crash on purpose so we can replenish our ammo whenever we need it and then we got gung-ho and dead silence and then we got ghost right here this one is the vital vital perk right here to this class setup in order to remain stealthy as possible like i said i'm a solo player so when those parties are calling those uavs i'm still able to stay under the radar of course you have to keep on moving but that's not hard if you're a flanker if you're a flanker you always go the opposite direction of your teammates and stick to the outskirts of the map so you're always on the move anyway and always pay attention to your triangle make sure that it's dimmed and faded out because if it's not and it's all bright and glowy then that means they're able to see you on their radar so you got to pay attention to that then i got the grav man i can't make a six best class setup without including this one then the first thing you're going to recognize is this recon site now this looks a little funky and maybe noobish but trust me it's not it's actually intuitive and innovative because when you add in the recon site it basically makes your accuracy 100 you don't need grip at all which revolutionizes this class setup and it allows you to use a lot more with your setup without having to use a wild card so we got the recon site then we got so we can strafe left and right in those gunfights quick draw so we can aim in a lot faster and then we got extended mag so that we can have a lot more ammo to begin with then we got stim shot scavenger gung-ho and dead silence definitely one of my favorite class setups like i said this would not be a six best class setups if i did not include this one then i got the cordite so the cordite has been getting a lot of love lately and i had to include this in the six best class setups especially after that hit scan update before everything was projectile with the bullet drop but now all the smgs they do hit right on target instantly and that makes the cordite one of the best smgs in the game to use adding rapid fire is going to reduce that time to kill and then we got grip so we can control that recoil and then we got the belt feed so that we don't need to replenish our ammo with scavenger or worry about reloading our weapon and that's really the the main reason why i use the belt feed because this gun is meant to be used as an aggressive class setup so with that said if you're gonna go against multiple enemies at one time you literally don't need to worry about reloading your weapon which is the amazing part you can just focus on the task at hand which is just gunfights without having to worry about keeping an eye on your ammo and you also don't want to use this weapon at a distance you want to use it like an smg should be which is up close and personal take the gunfights to the enemies don't engage in long range type of gunfights because you're literally not going to win those gunfights it's just not a smart thing to do then i got stim shot 
headshot and flak jacket. We're going to be using flak jacket because I hate dying to mesh mines and other really annoying type of stuff in the game. So it says right here, take less damage from enemy explosives, fire and radiation, recover more quickly when wounded. This is huge and it definitely does make a big difference. And those are the kind of deaths that you do want to avoid. That's why I picked flak jacket. Then I got gung ho and dead town. So definitely try out this core out class setup if you haven't tried it before. Like I said, uh, these perks are definitely replaceable. You can fit them to your play style, but for the most part, this is the setup I recommend. Some people would rather use more attachments on their gun, but it really just depends on the kind of player you are, I guess. But this one, I like to just focus on the gunfights and go on streaks without worrying about reloading my weapon. Then we got the SOG class setup right here. This is one of my favorite aggressive SMG class setups. First, I'm rocking stock so we can be more evasive and just being an SMG in general, when you put on stock, your movement is just incredibly fast. So being able to strafe left and right in those gunfights is going to make it a lot harder for enemies to hit you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Then I'm rocking quick draw so we can aim it a lot faster than fast mag. We are playing aggressive with this class setup and it's so important to be able to stay locked and loaded and ready for the next gunfight. Then I got stim shot. Then I got scavenger gung ho and I'm pairing that up with dexterity. With dexterity, it allows you to slide a lot farther and just climb things a lot faster. Without dexterity, this gun just doesn't feel as cracked out. I call this the SOG cracked class setup. Then I'm going to use this class setup with ruin just so I could navigate around the map even faster. Keep up that high octane type of pace and that's what this class setup is designed for remember you want to take the gunfights to the enemies don't try to engage in long range gunfights all right now this last class setup right here this one is probably a shocker you guys i've never really featured an lmg in the six best class setups besides the tiger shark before uh, but the vkm this is definitely an underrated class setup that you have to try out now the thing that makes this gun so good is that it has the fastest time to kill in the game with the exception of stuff like the snipers or the shotguns because obviously those are one hit kill type of weapons uh, but with this class setup right here we got high cal one and high cal two it goes from a standard three shot kill to a two shot kill at any range which is absolutely amazing now there is a caveat to this and you do have to hit your shots obviously your your accuracy has to be good you have to hit from the chest up in order to get those two shot kills but you know if you've got decent accuracy it's not that hard to do and you're definitely going to be deleting enemies in the blink of an eye and it's just going to be so surprising it's crazy then we got fast mags because the reload time is just super slow this cuts it down to two seconds actually with fast mags so i highly recommend that especially if you're playing aggressive i i personally use this as an aggressive class setup so that's why fast mags is a very viable option for me then i got rapid fire to reduce that time to kill even more then i got stim shot gung ho and dead sounds uh, so that's it for the six best class setups guys now we're going to move on to the extra three class setups that i do recommend we're going to start off with the tiger shark here the tiger shark is one of my favorite dlc weapons in the game mainly because it is an absolute steamroller and you can even play with this like an smg which makes it an absolute dominant type of weapon all right so let's get into the class setup we got elo sight because i don't like the iron sights on it personally that's just personal preference uh then i got stock so i can add more mobility to this weapon especially since it's an lmg you want to be as mobile as possible and the fact that you're able to strafe left and right in those gunfights is definitely going to put you at an advantage then i got fast mag so we can reload a lot faster and stay loaded and ready to go you want to be ready for the next gunfight then i got laser sight this one's going to be really important on this class setup because hip firing is definitely going to help save your life especially when you're in close quarter type of gunfights so definitely put on the laser sight it's definitely going to help you out there and help increase your chances of winning those gunfights all right then i got stim shot scavenger gung ho and dead silence so this is the target shark class setup all right so my next class setup that i recommend using is going to be the daemon this gun is like almost not fair at all the success rate that people get when they use this gun is just so high they even tried to nerf the gun but it's still a dominant weapon i recommend high cal one and high cal two rapid fire hybrid mags then we got stim shot no perk one so we're going to be using crash then i got gung ho and dead silence so this is definitely an smg that i do recommend you have in your arsenal uh, especially when you're going against parties and you need something to help carry your team the daemon is definitely going to help you get on high streaks and help you carry your team and get them over the hump last but not least i have the rampart 17 this is a staple class setup that every player should have now, i know this looks like a funky class setup but i made a video on it before showing that the recon site is 
is actually a viable replacement for the grip attachment so that we can utilize more perks with this setup or a different secondary if you choose to because we don't need to use a wild card and waste another point we're able to add more to our class setup with using recon all right then i got high cal one and high cal two then i got fast mags stim shot scavenger gung-ho and dead silence so that about wraps it up today and if you did learn something and you find these class setups helpful do me a favor drop a like on this video and subscribe if you're new around here if you are part of the people who are in this statistic right here that watch my videos but are not subscribed definitely do me a favor help me grow my channel and subscribe right now and turn on notifications so you never miss another video in the future because i do these update videos quite often and i will see you guys in the next video peace if you're looking for a way to enhance your gaming experience check out focus by advanced it's a great supplement tastes really good no crash and it'll keep you focused give you faster reflexes and reaction time you can also use it for when you're at work studying for that test or even to get you focused for working out at the gym head on over to advanced.gg link is in the description and use my code turbo to save 10 percent if you use my code be sure to screenshot it and tweet it at me or tag me on instagram hey guys i just want to give a quick shout out to the people whose names are listed for officially joining the channel as a member and if you are interested in joining there's a link in the description that will take you there and some information on exclusive perks you get for joining as a thank you from me to you remember this is not required by any means and i appreciate all the support whether you're a member or not all right i'll see you guys in the next video peace